Tom Link, it's your Ink. Welcome to another video, welcome to another show. I'm pr gonna present to you guys, we're still working on a title. I'm thinking for, um, I'm thinking for the initial corn. Instead of saying, Tom Link, it's your boy Ink, cause Tom Link, it's your boy Ink, when more when I'm talking. <laughs> but I'm thinking something like presenting the sunset of the 6th September 2024.
Oh, it's not that early, man. Gotta work a little bit. Wiki wiki, wait, then it's easy. <laughs> this mind is blown. Blown to smithereens. When I was there, I was there, waiting to let you know. We're building it. Link to in all the show. guys are having an amazing 6th of September. I want to congratulate TikTok for making um, answering with videos more fun 
they, they change their interface and it's a lot better. It's much cooler. I like the way it feels, like the feeling behind it. But they don't ask me before the update. I'm kind of like, ugh. But still, we have a wonderful question from my friend, Fred Kuhn. I think, comma, what, a, what, a, what an amazing punctuality, this guy. Thoughts on Canadian politics. Well, Fred Kuhn, I stay away from politics as much as possible. But since you ask so kindly and because you're my friend, oh! Oh my god! Almost dropped the. F Holy shit, almost dropped the fucking phone. That's too close. Holy shit, that was close. Not to be swearing, but to be swearing. Uh, since you're such a good guy and since you're my friend, I'll answer it with. I grew up in a house um, that was very, very political. My father was a man of opinion, and my father had for opinion that you should always vote for the same side, no matter who represents it. Um, if you were voting for the other side, you didn't know what you were talking, you were a commie. So, Canadian politics. Um, I mean, I don't follow politics because I was brain as a child. What is brain rot is when you hear something, so when you talk about this something too much, like for example, we talk about video games, we talk about um, politics, we talk about culture, we talk about movies or, so or songs. <coughs> you become brain rot, so become, uh, you're, you got too much influence, so you don't know how to make your own ID. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense what I'm saying, but <coughs> wait, how can I put this? How can I put this more clearly? I can see clearly now the sun is set. I mean, you get so many opinions and you get so many um, topics thrown at you from the same like concept, like politics, right? That you don't know what to make of it because you, you, you got so many opinions. Or you got always the same opinion, the same side, or the same, um, the same group represented in politics. Because you got, in Quebec, you got Liberal, which is Liberals, you got Parti Québécois, which is... No, no, sorry, this Canada, this Quebec. Canada is Conservative, uh, the, um, the party with Jacqueline Singh, that's more um, democratic, and you got the party with uh, Trudeau, which is Liberal. Um, I say it's hard to stay away from, I try to stay away from politics as much as possible. Also, I'm sorry about the quality of this video and the quality of my speech. Uh, we're a six day diet, a six day no fapping, so yeah, it does affect a little bit of the uh, it does affect a little bit of the mental health, but it's okay. Um, so yes, my kind of politics is super simple. Even though I stay away, I want to answer this question. So there's three that we hear about a lot. The first one I'm going to talk about is Jack Week C. Why? Because I don't like Trudeau and I don't know Paul yet. The one I'm the I would be the most likely to vote for is Jack Week C. Yes, it's a bit more communist, it's a bit more, um, it's a bit more, what should I call it? A bit more politics, it's a bit more, no, no, it's a bit more, um, not politics, sorry, a bit more commie, communist, or a bit more of the left, right? So, Jeremy Singh party is more so, um, what should I call it? I, I'm having some problem focusing tonight because of the diet and because of the need for corn. Um, so I've had too much information. But Jamie Sink is more so, well, we're gonna put the power in the people and, and the people, they'll be able to protect society, right? Liberals are like, okay, we're gonna be open-minded, we're gonna be promoting the future. Conservative is we live by the rules that were already set in, so it's a continuation of society. Liberals are more like, hey, let's give our chance to our future. And the the the, the party of Jack Mead Singh, um, it's more so, um, we'll give the power to people, right? Which is good. Um, I like Jack Mead Singh because his idea is fresh, his ideas are fresh. My problem with Canadian politics is, it's always gonna be conservative or liberal. We have the same Quebec too. In Quebec, we have the Parti Québécois, the Libéral. Um, the Libéral is the same as Justin Trudeau, Parti Québécois is, okay, so Quebec, oh, it's tough. Quebec is part of Canada, but Quebec is a huge province. A lot of money that's from Quebec goes to Canada, and a lot of the resource, natural, natural resources from Quebec are sent to Canada. However, there's a there's a, a hatred towards Canada from Quebecois because we're giving them uh, natural resources and they're selling them. And uh, we're giving them and they're selling so they make a 100% profit, which is not fair. Um, to go back to the question, Jack Mason, my problem with Jack Mason is yes, he's offering a lot of good ID, uh, but he doesn't know how to establish himself. Um, and. The problem with Jack Singh is being there for too long. When you've been there for a while, for example, right, you're as a manager, as the manager for six years, and you're still being treated as the asset manager and not the manager, there's a problem. I'm gonna do my hair a little bit, I'm vain, my apologies. 
um, there's a problem, there's a reason why you're not mature. So when people see Jackman sing, it's like, okay, well, it's been there for a reason. This guy's been there for a long time. There's a reason why he doesn't want to be in power. Um, Jackman Sin, one of the one of the pros that I have for him is it's always the two, the same two, conservative and liberals. So a bit of new, uh, a bit of new politics, a bit of new blood in politics, a bit of a, a new ideal, a new system could help politics. Otherwise, it's monopol. It's the monopol of two parties. You're you're going left, or you're going right, but there's also four that you can go, right? Maybe the right way is forward. Now, for Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, I'll be an asshole. My, my apologies, Justin, not really. Your father was amazing. Pierre Elliott was amazing. Pierre Elliott was an other people. Pierre Elliott, Pierre Elliott was a worker before. And he was like, okay, well, I know what worker goes through. Pierre Elliott was a phenomenal man, a fantastic leader. Um, my father said that and I asked to agree with him. Pierre Elliott Trudeau was possibly one of the last great Quebec leader because he was voting for, refer for the referendum, which was to separate Quebec from Canada. Um, Pierre Elliott was amazing, he was people. He, he was calling them, people respected him. With Justin, people don't respect it. And it was a very simple why. My problem with the Liberal Party isn't the Liberal Party itself, it's Justin. See, I'm a guy, I'm a guy, okay, and that's weird. That's gonna be stupid, that's gonna be brain dead stupid. However, I don't trust people, I don't trust parties. I trust people. If I can trust you, I can trust your ID. If I can trust your ID, I'll trust who you're representing because I know that you're you're a good person. It's like you're going to a garage. You're going to the same garage over and over again. You're working with the same guy. All my tattoos from the same guy, right? So a liberal, they're having, but Justin, I don't like him. Justin is, he's like a puppet. He's like a muppet. He's, he looks and he makes dumb decisions. People talk to him and doesn't know what to answer. He's always apologizing. There's a problem when you always apologize. It doesn't seem genuine. I had this problem as a kid. I was always apologizing. I fear of my father because he was very strict. It was very strict, so I had to apologize all the time. And that followed me into an adult, and that made me weak. Don't solve the problem, just apologize, right? Like, are you apologizing or you, you truly want to change things? I don't know. Um, so yeah, so Justin, I don't like him. Also, Justin has this, He's like a Muppet. We have problem with finance. And he, he made a, a, a ad where he went to, to, to a family home and he played Star Wars with the kids. All that fixing things. Um, also, um, Justin, I, I'm sorry, this is going to sound a little racist, but Justin, when, he, when he's having a, when he's celebrating, for example, this, this Sikh religion, just as a Sikh, when he's representing, um, he wanted to go to China, Chinatown, which is a lot of voters, and he was dancing with the Korean music. He was eating street food, and that's cool. That's that's super cool that you're you're embracing the culture, but you're supposed to represent Canadian, right? Because you're you're supposed to represent Canadian. It's kind of cool to show that you're Canadian, not that you're like, oh, I'll be whatever you guys want me to be. But that seems weak. Now at the end, we have conservator. Which is Polyev. Polyev, I do like the guy. I really, out of the three, he's possibly one of the one I like the most. He's a no bullshit. He doesn't, he doesn't do speech. He doesn't try to sell you things. He's, uh, he's. I think he's pretty smart. He's charismatic. He's like a no bullshit kind of guy again. And uh, I think he would do some good. He would do some good because with Justin, Canada looks weak, right? Canada's always looked weak because we're too kind. But with Justin, we look, we look weak. Now, the Polyev. Although I think Poliev, you know what? Poliev, he's like the reason why I like Poliev is he's like the man of the people, and it's like I, I I work with guys like that. I work with guys like that, and usually they have one word, right? My problem with Poliev is I don't know him. He appeared uh, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and uh, he was like, "Yo, I'm the, the competition," and I'm like, "Okay, well, I like you, but I don't know you," and I got a problem with putting in a guy I don't know in power because you vote once and it lasts four years. That's my thoughts. I hope it helped. Um, Canadian politics is, like every single politics, is a failing system. Failing system. Politics have long since stopped representing us. They represent conglomerate, they represent company, they represent economy. Right?
Oh, <laughs> it's like I had a plan for this. I for this comment. Uh, so the, like the game, the name of the guy. Oof. Oh, I had a, a, an amazing comment. So if you look at this video, if you look at the comments, the u the username is John Cena, which is the wrestler. I was supposed to do a bit where I said I got the winners comments. I just see the comment, but I cannot see a PFP. I cannot see a name. I was supposed to present John Cena. You can see me. My time is now. Uh, ruined the opportunity. So this is gonna be a behind the scenes. It's gonna be a blooper. It's gonna be a fail pick. Ah, the perfect plan ruined by TikTok. Once again. Don't blink, get your boy in, go to the real cut of the show. It is a while on the 6th of September 2024. I know it's a bit dark, please forgive me. It's one of the last videos we're going to do today. So yeah, so this is not an excuse, yet it is an excuse. We're going to talk about Boogie once again. Uh, <laughs> Boogie, I made a couple of videos. I have to go to the bathroom, I'm sorry.
Holy shit, it's so dark. 